हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो होप यू हैव गॉट योर ड्रीम सीट इन के सी ई टी फर्स्ट राउंड सीट अलॉटमेंट एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई विल टॉक अबाउट द कम्प्लीट प्रोसेस और द चॉइस यू हैव टू गिव आफ्टर द फर्स्ट राउंड रिजल्ट एंड बेस्ड ऑन द चॉइसेस इफ यू हैव टू गिव द फीस एंड जॉइन द कॉलेज और डिपेंडिंग ऑन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ काउंसलिंग वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर दैट सो कम्प्लीट वीडियो विल कवर दैट लेट स्टार्ट सो देर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स राइट वन हु हैव गॉट द सीट और अलॉटेड एंड दोज हु हैव नॉट गॉट द सीट अलॉटेड सो द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव गॉट द सीट अलॉटेड दे विल हैव द फोर चॉइसेस एंड दे हैव टू डू दोज कम्प्लीट वन ऑफ दोज फोर चॉइसेस by you know at least 30th of october that is day after tomorrow right so only two days are given you have to give your choice how you want to proceed for the next possibilities right and then uh, there are two uh, students who have not got any seat allotted those student who have not got any seat allotted they don't need to do any choice entry that is they don't need to exercise any of the four choices what they will be doing is just reordering you know their option entries for the next round they will just reorder they cannot add any new college or any other thing right right so before i go into deep of each of the choices and what is implication first understand what are the choices so choice one are the students who want to confirm their seat allotted in the first round and they are satisfied and they will have to pay the fees and all i will tell after you know this part the second are the students who want to you know uh, go for the second round of counseling so they may be happy with their uh, seat but they may want still want to go for the uh, second round and in that case uh, they will have to do uh, exercise choice to and i will tell what they need to do and they can basically you know do changes in their higher order options right about the seat which was allotted but they will hold the seat for the second round third is the student who don't want to hold the seat and they want to reject the seat and they want to participate in the next round of counseling they will do choice 3 and the fourth are the students they are completely not satisfied with the allotted seat and they can go for the any other counseling process but they will completely exit the kea counseling process for kcet that means they don't want to get seat from kcet examination this year so now i will start with the first category student choice one the maximum number of students will be doing choice one because they are very much happy with the seat allotted to them in the first round and they want to do choice one on the kea portal so those students are expected to pay the fees and thus those candidate has to download and print the chalan from kea website which is in triplicate right so uh, this is minimum uh, step c is required to uh, you know basically pay the fee so you have to fill the chalan print the chalan from the kea website in triplicate that means in three copies and i'll explain more in detail in the chalan the details of the candidate should be pre printed like you don't need to copy anything it will be pre printed your name your cet number your allotted college your fees to be paid there it will show the amount of fees to be paid bank account number right where you have to pay the fees and candidate has to confirm that the printed details and affix the signature on the chalan so you need to put the signature on the chalan and after downloading the chalan in the prescribed format which i just mentioned you have to go to the nearest bank right which is notified by kea and kea accept most of the bank so there is no challenge unless you are in a very very rural area most of the national state level banks are covered by kea and you can go to your nearest bank where you with the same chalan and where you have to pay the fees right so after the receipt of the payment right once you pay the fees bank will give you the payment receipt right bank will return the candidate copy to candidate by retaining the ka and the bank copy so basically the ka copy they will send it to ka and the bank copy will always remain in the bank and the other copy you will get in your hand so once you come back home right after paying the fees and getting the one copy of your chalan fees paid document then you again log into the 
के ये पोर्टल राइट एंड नाउ यू विल बी एबल टू बेसिकली डाउनलोड योर एडमिशन ऑर्डर सो एडमिशन इज ऑर्डर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बी विदाउट एडमिशन ऑर्डर एनी कॉलेज विल नॉट इंडक्ट यू इन टू देयर कॉलेज सो यू हैव टू डाउनलोड नाउ द एडमिशन ऑर्डर एंड प्रिंट द सेम एंड एफिक्स द सिग्नेचर ऑन द एडमिशन ऑर्डर राइट देन यू टेक दिस एडमिशन ऑर्डर ऑल द ओरिजिनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू नो विच आर देयर एंड विच यू सबमिटेड ड्यूरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन टेक एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट you know uh, and then you have to go to your college so reporting to college is basically 3rd of november so by that time you should be in the college and uh, with all the documents your chalan your fee paid certificate and your admission order which i have mentioned just now so when i was talking about the modes of the payment there were two modes and uh, one i explained is by downloading printing the e chalan from the ke website which is in triplicate and then go to the bank and pay the fees and all the second is by downloading the neft rtgs or the imps chalan from the ke website which is also available in triplicate so any of these two chalans you can uh, basically download and make the payment for the fees there are no other ways of payment of the fees and there is no you know any type of you know loan facility or other things which is being talked about as this point of time these are the only two modes of payment and now i will go for the student who are going to do choice 2 so for the first time the choice 2 student don't need to pay any fees right this is the first time happening that the choice 2 student don't need to pay any fees of the allotted college right but they can still participate in the second round counseling by holding the seat of the first round counseling and in this case if 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 the higher order college are or higher order option is allotted to them they will be automate your your original seat will be automatically cancelled so remember that the moment you will get a new seat in the second round your first round seat will be automatically cancelled there is neither nor situation is not there that you want to return it to the first uh, round seat no it is not possible whatever you get in the second round you have to take it and uh, you know the first round seat is already gone it, it becomes it gets automatically cancelled without you knowing and that seat becomes then available to the student in the next round of uh, uh, ranking and yes but if you don't get any new seat in your higher ranking right then your old seat is with you so that is not gone right so if you don't get any new seat uh, higher order option entry then you will get the same seat right and the higher order option means you know uh, the the college which are above your allotted college of the first round so when the when the option entry for the round 2 will start at that point of time you can reorder your colleges right you can edit modify and those things but you cannot add any new college further so whatever college you are allotted in the first round that college will not be there but any other college above that will be in the option entry and the all the college below your allotted college will be automatically deleted you don't need to do anything you don't need to cancel any seat any other thing you can just participate in the round 2 counseling so these are the procedure for choice 2 students they don't need to pay fees they can modify edit their choices above the current allotted college now i am going to talk about the choice 3 students so choice 3 students are basically similar to choice 2 students in the fact that they will also don't need to pay the fees but choice 3 is only for the students who are completely unsatisfied with their seat and they want to reject the seat that means the seat will not be on hold for them they have reject they are rejecting the seat that means it will automatically that seat will be added in the vacant seat matrix which will be released in just few days before the option entry for second round so your seat is gone at the same time you don't need to fees as uh, pay the fees right and so, uh, and then you have to uh, do the choice filling again for the round 2 uh, or the option entry for round 2 later right and the choice four students are basically the students uh, who want to basically completely you know exit the counseling process itself that they are quitting right they don't want any further any counseling or any other you know seat allotment process so those people don't need to do anything and they can just exercise choice four and exit the system right that's all is required from your side
so friends this is the high level process and that's you have to follow the 3rd november is the last day to you know you know attend the college and confirm to the college that you are joining the uh, you know particular seat and uh, that's all i have to cover and i will cover uh, the cut off videos for the first round seat allotment so that you know the idea what you can do in the round 2 thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar update